So guys, for the first step, you're going to clear the cache and the cookies of your web browser. So to do that, once you're in our web browser, you're going to click on the three dots in the top right. Now, you're going to click on history, and then click on history again. Now, once you're on this, you're going to click on delete browsing data. You're going to make the time range all time, and you're going to select both cookies and other site data and cache images and files. You can unselect everything else if you want to. Just make sure that you select both cookies and cache, and then click on delete data. And now for the second step, you're going to head over to search again and type in view network connections. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're going to find your network adapter. You're going to double click on it. And then click on properties. And then click on internet protocol version 4. Make sure that you have both of these options on the default. So obtain the IP address automatically and obtain DNS server address automatically. You want to select both these options and then click on OK. And now for the next step, you're going to head over to search again and type in CMD. Now you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And then once you're on this, you're going to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Click on enter. Now we're going to type in netsh space winsock space reset. Click on enter again. And now for the last step, you just want to restart your computer. And then the problem should be fixed. 